Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. What is FSL by the way? Why industries is using it? What are the problems where industry typically have and the challenges where this FSL comes into, right? And then because that is very much required whenever you will do any sort of project implementation you will have a get a power to to start visualizing the requirements right once you know that uh, uh, what is this FSL all about right so what we are going to focus today is that we will just first try understanding the basic of FSL uh, from that angle and then later classes we will go deep dive into it. So first of all what is FSL when you hear this word field service lightning right what the thought comes in your mind what so any guesses I mean when we are saying field service lightning what is your point of view when when you are hearing what is this solution is all about what this application will do. Uh, this is Anyone? to help <clears throat> the field service people, you know, who are actually going out and helping people with uh, different works. The agents, basically, field service agents. Yeah. Yes. So, yes, you are you are right. You actually, at least, you are in a right direction. So, typically, right this this tool is to manage uh, uh, the workforce right who is basically uh, going at particular sites customers location and offering their services plus the parts of course so one example could be very simple example is let's say you have a problem in your broadband connection right so what you will do typically um, uh, you will call your your on a helpline number right and then uh, that person will try to understand the problem and they will say the basic things like hey, can you uh, switch off switch on the router can you do this and that right so typically what they are doing the moment you are calling them right that is the first time you are touching if I will I, I will try to relate this to the Salesforce ecosystem okay so that you can start visualizing it moment you call to the service agent or uh, in that so that is where the service cloud concept comes where the case management is there case routing is there all those things will start triggering the very first touch point is the you call them they will create a ticket which is also in the Salesforce sales service cloud it's going to be your case now once they have the case what they will do is they will just try understanding first uh, the common set of questions so typically those service guys will have a, a, a knowledge base right in the knowledge base they have like certain set of questions and certain set of resolution so what they are trying to understand is that if their problem whatever your problem is if you can follow certain set of instructions and after that let's say your your router is started working out and your issues is resolved right now if that happens till that point of time field service is doesn't come into the picture it's simply that call agent you know just uh, help you with uh, their uh, the knowledge articles and all and if the things issue is resolved they will close the case and you will get a link to share the feedback and all but after following it let's say you have you know uh, started the router and 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 you know you are unplugging and plugging the wire and all but after doing all those things what uh, agent is asking you to do that uh, that net connection didn't work right so which means there is some fault maybe in the router hardware or some connection or wire cut outside somewhere so in that case what the service agent will do right they will put all your problems and what he has or she has suggested in the case comments still in the service cloud they will put all the details 
that okay I have suggested these things but it still didn't work and this is the customer complaint and of course based on that uh, what will happen the case routing which is again still happening in service cloud it will assign to a team right it will assign to a to a particular team to hey, look into so typically once it is assigned to a, a team in the when I'm saying the case right that is the point it will be figure it out that okay someone needs to visit there so even in this case also right I can go one level deep what happens sometimes let's say your router didn't fix your net is didn't fix but still you will get a message that hey there is a, some problem in their side their router or, or their workstation they have their, the problem is there so they are working on it hold on right wait for some time right now in this case they will not send you any particular the field agent or anyone to your house to your location to look after because they know what is the resolution they know what is the problem and they are working on it at some place now in that case also till that point right if there is a problem in their uh, in their in-house problem they, their team is working on it field service is not yet involved so what they will typically do is they will consolidate all the cases to one resolution and when that case resolution has been you know issued that okay this issue is fixed all the places will you know mark as auto close or they will personally call each each individual that hey is your net is working if yes then let's close the case but let's say it's a very categorically problem to your location or with your uh, internet connection then it will be the case the team the, the case which has assigned to the team they will say that hey everything is working fine it looks like that we have to send someone to look after that is where the case with our service cloud will go and shift towards FSL now field service lightning this is the software you can say or the application which will basically manage multiple things around that right like who who is the technician which is working in that area right based on your address location who is the technician who is available on that day maybe there are five four technicians and then let's say the one technician is is let's say uh, on leave the other two are only available what is their skill set maybe one technician is very good at you know in looking at the wire but only one technician is very good at router and since you have uh, said that your problem is in your router so all i'm trying to say is that is everything your the skills the the business hours service hours territory everything is will be managed by field service if the client has that application if they don't have it they have to either do everything manually or through some other way to do that but that not may be most effective and it's not that field service is that at just at the admin level sitting in the office and they are deciding it field service also given flexibility and the power to the agents who are actually working on the site right to go and do updates on the ticket close the ticket or if they if you need extra parts they will add it one another example uh, let's say in uh, you need another service rights in India uh, there is a called urban company right so if you need a saloon or you need any haircut or any plumbing electrician whoever you want simply you are going selecting the services scheduling your time and then just putting a request right when that guy is coming then he will start tracking everything right when he started doing all the work he will start the timer and and, and then how how many hours they have spent right based on that they will also do the billing what are the parts they have installed based on that they will do the billing so multiple things are there right which is very cumbersome if they will you know try doing things manually because here it's a two part one is that okay in the office the dispatcher is basically figuring it out who will go to that site and all let's say they have all excel sheet, excel sheet and different files through which somehow they manage but when technician is going to that particular site how many actual hours they have worked on 
what are the parts they have, what the parts they needed from the warehouse. Multiple things are there, right? And what are the terms and conditions most importantly, what is the contract that I have signed with you? Let's say I will say, okay, one year entire service is free. In that case, of course, if technician will come, they, will, they should not charge, correct? But in, the, in my contract, sometimes when you are buying any appliances, you will see, right? Let's say you are buying an AC, they will say that compressor is covered for, for five years, rest of the body parts is not covered or compressor is covered for 10 years. So they are basically what they are saying, they are part wise, right? So all these details, if they are going mechanically at a manual level or some file level, the business will never scale or it leads to unhappy customers, right? At the end of the day, service will not going to be very well and good and then that is going to be very unhappy customer. I can tell you one recent example happened just one week back. I Last year I bought Hitachi AC, right? So uh, the service is free for one year. So I called the customer care and I booked it. They, they have the every details. They said, yes, uh, that one year warranty is covered. So you do not have to pay anything. And all details are here. Don't worry about it. Our technician will go. But that te what the technician who came actually, right? He does not have any information about uh, my product, about uh, my contracts, about my what Hitachi offered me and promised me nothing. He just came with what one cash memo, right? Which is basically like whole manual book. And they started arguing, okay, you have to show me the the invoice, right? Otherwise, I will not do the service. Or if I will do it, you have to pay it. Okay, the invoice where it is written, this is covered, that is not covered. Those kind of experiences happened. It's a long, uh, you know, it's a very bad experience, customer experience, right, at the end of the day. So in this particular example, see, the person who is sitting in the office, they have the, all the system through which they have fit everything. They have given the, all the assurance. But they are technicians who are coming on the ground, working on the ground. They don't have any details. They don't have anything, right? So those problems, but uh, I mean, is, is basically where your field service will come and it will going to help a company to expand and of course increasing the customer CSR, right? Customer satisfaction ratio. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.